previously on Athena Project. I do not believe in a faith that falls on men however they act. But I do believe in a faith that falls on them unless they act. G.K. Chesterton. Computer, what is the distress signal sounding for? We dropped out of warp space for some reason. We don't know why. And there's a problem. We are real close to a black hole that is not on any charts. We are at a stalemate with gravity, unable to escape with normal engines. And our warp engines require movement in space to initiate. Recommendation? Turn towards a black hole so we can get the velocity needed for the jump to work. We have a 50% chance of success, provided we get the engines pointed in the right direction in time. 50%? Damn. Calculations are complete. All loose items have been battened down. And non-mission essential personnel are secured and are out of the way. Okay. Initiate. This is impossible. That is not the proper use of the dolly. It is safer than running. I do not think she should be running, either. Callus, report to ship Captain Collier. He is a little disoriented from a bump on the head during our last jump to warp. He is having little trouble with his brain implant, distinguishing reality from our databanks. Understood. I am on my way. And Talus, it is okay to run on this ship. faster than riding a dolly. Talus, what's going on? Where are we? What's the status of the ship? Everything. 
is okay. I am told that what you are experiencing is a combination of what your eyes see and what you are interpreting from the computer banks. Putting it simply, you are sleepwalking. So, is she part of the ship's databanks? Matt. Matt, nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you, I promise. Matt, nothing will happen to you, I promise. No. I do not recognize it as any of the main computer's data. This is odd. It does show up in the computer's recent memory. Perhaps she is one of your forgotten memories. Or even one of the robots, since we are also tied into the main banks. Perhaps. It would be helpful if you would wake up. We have an issue to deal with. Okay. What's the problem you mentioned? It seems we are either lost or the clocks are wrong. The ship's clocks and the position of the stars do not sync up. That's a big deal, resetting the ship's clocks? I am thinking that it is a big deal since the clocks are off by a thousand years ahead. A thousand years? Because of the jump near the black hole? What about communications? Is there any chatter on any channels? Negative. Just like we would expect in the 20th century, rather than the 30th. Huh. In which case, the settlement on planet Toroi hasn't happened yet. The only planet with a population is Earth. Correct. Set a course for Earth. Let's uh, pick up a few supplies and figure out what to do from there. <laughs>